Hi guys, welcome to part four um, of the marker tutorials. So today we're going to be looking at fine liner colour charts, um, mainly the Stadler Tri Plus and also uh, the Stavolo 0.88, which are um, two of the most common fine liners that I use. Um, and yeah, really good ones out there on the market. Um, I will briefly talk about shuttle art as well. So just to touch on shuttle art first, shuttle art I have mentioned that they're the quite reasonable priced fine liners um, that you can get. And when you actually um, get the package inside, they give you a, a pre-done, printed out, I'm just going to feed it through, um, colour chart like this. What I would suggest, I haven't done it myself yet, but just go through and um, by the side of each one, um, perhaps, uh, you know, find the colour and actually just colour it on there. Just so you get the true colour of the actual marker in your tin. So you already have a colour chart given to you with Shuttle Art. Another good reason um, to get those. Um, but what I did was I have done my own colour chart. I bought the 50 pack of the Stadler Tri Plus. Um, which actually, although they have um, a 50 pack, there's only actually 48 different colours. So it's a 50 pack. You have um, 48 different colours. There's, so there's a repeat, or there's a repeat in my 50 tin of two blacks and two peaches. And then I also um, have done one for the Stabilo 0.88. Again, there's a, a 50 tin that you can buy with all the colours, but that only has 47 separate different colors in there and in that one the repeats that i had um, to make it up to 50 so the repeats in the 50 tin i had an extra black an extra red and an extra blue so um with the state latroy plus um which is the 0.3 millimeter nib and my preferred one oh it's a very smooth one um it's good for joanna basford books um it's um, doesn't have an obvious number on the actual pen. So if I just grab one of my ones out of my, my pot here. So I'm just going to uh, grab a normal red one here. Uh, I'm going to bring it right up. There's no discernible number um, on the right in there. I can't see anything on the end. So it's actually really difficult um, to know and other people before have mentioned there's numbers um, so I've never really bothered I've just I suppose because I haven't had to do a tutorial or anything I've never sort of paid attention to numbers I've just grabbed them and coloured but this time I did a bit of research and thank you Teresa for nudging me as a comment made on one of my previous um, uh, videos on YouTube um, and so what I've done is I've actually gone through let me just grab that same one here I've gone through I've um, put them all down. I just in, it found on, um, I just Googled it to be honest and looked at images and found where there was one where there's both the numbers and the correct names. Um, and I just drew this little grid out in an art book, just an art journal. I, I've got a very just plain paper one. Drew the grid out, did the colours, and then I've also, more importantly, Got a bit of paper and with some sellotape written the number on. So, for example, this one is the red. So on each of my Tri Plus now, I've got the corresponding number and I can refer to this to tell you what the correct name is, which will be great. So now when we're going in color, doing colour alongs, um, I can actually give you the correct number and the correct name for the Tri Plus. And hopefully you may have to do what I've done and, and sellotape a number on there, but it means I can reference them correctly for your name. So that's the with the Tri Plus. I'll go through the colours in a moment. With the Stabilo, they're really good. So with the Stabilo, as you can see, it's 0.88, which is what this is here. But right next to it, they actually put the number for you. So it's on this part. So it's not on the part where it's got the Stabilo there. Not quite. You just flip it around and it's right there, 88. And this is number 40. So if you go to your grid, it's number 40 and it's red. So we've, we've got it there. So I didn't have to write anything about any of those. The numbers are all on there. All I had to do with those is find the colours and the names and then, then colour them in. 
So let's go through each of them first. So with the um, Triplus, Stadler Triplus, um, so they've got light yellow, yellow, bright yellow, orange, peach. Peach is one I've not seen before. That was new in the um, 50 tin. Um, normal orange, which is a common one. Scarlet red, that was one that I wasn't used to as well. Um, I think that's new in the 50 tin. Normal red, Kalahari orange, which when you look at that, I thought it's a bit more red. Carmine red, salmon, which I have had before. Um, magenta, which I think is a bit like when I say magenta, I think of a, a sort of a red color. But this is just all me and my opinion, by the way. <laughs> I'm just sharing my thoughts when I was actually doing this. I've never ever done this before where I've swatched the um, colors of my fine liners. It was actually a really good experience. It took a lot longer than I thought, but it was a good experience. So we have Bordeaux red, a red violet. I really like that color. Light rose, lavender, violet, mauve, dark mauve. Indigo blue, which is um, nice. Although it says indigo blue, I think it very much goes with the other mauves. Um, ultramarine blue, might have been a mistake there, do excuse me. Pale blue, delft blue, blue. Then we have aqua blue, turquoise, pale green, lime green, green, sap green, willow green, sea green, green earth, olive green, a lot of greens. Um, golden ochre, light brown, burnt sienna, brown tobacco brown strange name i don't know why tobacco brown and um, there's a light gray and a gray and black and then we have six neons and the neons i've, I've used the um neon yellow before i had that but i haven't really played too much with the others and i'm quite looking forward to um maybe you've been doing it a sort of a neon only picture or uh, you know a uh, lots of neons in so that'll be something to look forward to so that was the tri plus with the Stabilo 47, this one says um, purple. Now, this one I use a lot um, as the, you know, we were talking about um, getting different shades of the same colour to help with blending and giving depth. And I use that as a deep red all the time. But it's actually called purple, which I find really bizarre. Let me just show you the actual pen. Oh, that's the other thing I've noticed, a couple of them, that the actual colour on the lid, you do always, always test because the colour on the lid and the colour that comes out on the paper is sometimes different. So in this instance, the colour that, that is on the lid is, you know, pretty close to what comes out on the paper. It's just that the, the name is confusing because it says purple. Um, Maybe I'm colourblind, I don't know, but I would I would call that more maroon, but definitely a red, uh, you know, a, a red based Anyway, um, so we have purple, red, light red, pa pale vermilion, orange, yellow, lemon yellow, apple green, light green, green, pine green, olive green, and then a really nice dark turquoise. That's um, one of my favourite ones in this pack. Um, ice green, light emerald, ice blue, azure, light blue, ultramarine blue. So quite a few blues. Um, this paints grey which although it's grey, it's got a, got a real sort of blue vibe, I think. Um, and a night blue, which is really nice, deep, deep blue. Violet and light lilac. Um, another lilac, a crimson, which is a nice colour. Pink, helitrope, light pink, apricot, um, which is new. That's a bit like the salmon in the um, Triplus, I think. Um, now some a nice range of browns, light ochre, dark ochre, sanguine, sienna, brown and umber. And then we've got the black. I put those in the wrong box, but never mind. <laughs> Whoops. Um, deep cold grey, dark grey, medium cold grey and light grey. So four greys. And then the, the exact same um, six neons. So if I actually flick back to the triplus... Neon, yellow, orange, red, pink, green and blue. Yellow, orange, red, pink, green and blue. So they're the, the exact same colours. Um, yeah, so, so they're the ones in there. So as a quick cheat sheet, so they're the two swatches if you want to do your own for whatever ones you have. If you have smaller packs and don't have the 50, that's fine. Just swatch what you have. Um, and it's good to look at them then when you're looking at maybe creating some combinations. Just as a bit of a cheat sheet, I just went through and and this is just my my personal preference and my point of view 
Um, but if you're looking at the Tri Plus um, compared to the, the Stablo 0.88 colours, um, if you didn't have either pack you wanted to buy one and you were considering which one to buy, these are the, the, the different colour ranges down the left and then which, which one I think is best. Um, the, for the reds, the red range or the red pens, definitely the, um, the 0.88 are good. That, that deep red that's actually called purple, but it's a deep red and crimson are, are really nice colours. Um, there's about four reds in each one, but I think on that one, 0.88 are better. Um, for the next range of orange and yellows, definitely the Tri Plus are better because there's there's more oranges and more yellows. There's only two oranges and two yellows in the 0.88. There's four oranges and three yellows. So definitely um, for if you're doing variations of blending using your, your um, fine liners, then the Tri Plus are better in this area. Greens, the same again, there's eight greens um, in the Tri Plus um, and there's only five greens in the 0.88. So you've got like an olive green and a green earth, um, which are particularly nice in the Tri Plus and there's nothing similar in here. So for your orange, yellows and greens, Tri Plus wins. Now, if you go on to your blues, really um, turquoise and blues, it, it's 0.88. So the 0.88 have a dark turquoise and a light turquoise um, and then a very pale, pale um, kind of ice, ice grey, uh, light emerald, I think it's called. Um, they're really, really nice. Um, the dark turquoise in particular is one I always use. I often, funnily enough, though, use it in combination with the Tri Plus turquoise, which is lighter. Um, but yeah, they are definitely a better range of turquoise. Blues. There's seven ranges of blues compared to five of the Tri Plus, and they're more blended, so they work together better. Um, the blues in the, the Tri Plus are a bit sort of ad hoc. Um, pinks, the nicer and brighter in the um, 0.88, I think, for your pinks. Um, the pinks are okay in the, in the Tri Plus, but yeah, I definitely my preference would be in the 0.88. But purple's the exact opposite. So in 0.88, they've only got two purples. It's like a very dark one. Um, and a, a medium kind of purple, where in here they've got mauves and lilac shades um, and much lighter ones. The light la um, lavender, I think it's called in this one, is just beautiful and works really well with actually the, the lighter purple uh, 0.88. Um, so purples, hands down here. Browns, the browns are, are quite good. I think overall though 0.88 wins because it's got a couple of lighter options. Um, and the names are better. It's not, I don't like the one tobacco brown. I didn't like that name, but anyway, um, so that's better. Grays, um, definitely 0.88. So they've got four shades of grays, whereas the grays in the Tri Plus is only two. However, I've made a note here because the lightest gray in Tri Plus is extremely light, so lighter than the lightest one in the 0.88. And it's almost like a silver color, which is great uh, for some of, if you're coloring something, um, like with you know it's something metal and you're trying to make it look like metal and um, they both have a black pen obviously and then they both have the neons which i've noted are the same so i've definitely covered all the pens because i did a little total i'm an accountant um for my full-time job and so uh, into numbers so i did it up um it's 48 and 47 so that they're definitely all there some of them i've um you know, I've had to pick whether it's turquoise or a blue or whatever. So you might disagree with some of the categorization, but it's just more to give you um, an idea. So if you, and it's what, probably why Tri Plus is um, favoured by a lot of people who colour in Joanna Bassford books, because um, Secret Garden and so on, there's a lot of green, a lot of florals. Um, and so your greens and your yellows and your oranges, definitely the Tri Plus and your purples. But saying that for your blues, your browns, and then your deep reds and so on, then 0.88, or treat yourself and get both, <laughs> like me. And if they fit perfectly in one of those um, pencil holders, um, you know, that holds 150 pencils or whatever, because instead of putting three pencils, I'll just show you actually. So this is where I've got them. So normally you would fit three pencils in one of those, but it fits two fine liners perfectly. And it fits my, um, all my fine liners for both packs exactly. So yeah, they're good. So that's a little cheat on that one.
And the last thing I want to go through is just some of the um, common um, combinations that I would use. I've never really written these down before. And in doing so, when I was writing them down, um, I was actually getting quite excited because I suddenly realised um, how good it is just having a look and sort of picking colours and going, oh, would they work together? Um, because I've never swatched before, I've just I've just often gone by the colour on the actual, you know, it's, say I was looking at this one, like the colour on the lid or whatever, or I kind of know what, what the colours are, how it's going to come out. Um, and so what was really, really good when I was doing this is now I've got the swatching, so now I've got these, I will be able to just flick through and go, oh, that, well, that orange there might work really well with the neon orange and then a splash of a, a, a lemon yellow or something like that. And then I can pull those out and practice them. I've found these little cards as well, just in office works. And I thought if I put some of the combos, my common combos on here, I will also use these when we do the color along. So I can just leave it at the top or leave it in the frame so you can see exactly what colors I'm using. And also uh, the other thing I will mention is um, on the end here, I'm going to put either 88, meaning it's the 0.88, Stablo 0.88, or TP, meaning uh, tri plus. So um, that's the reference at the end to tell you which set the particular ones from anyway this is a common one i use a lot um that purple um stablo one which i use more as a, a deep red um the red the orange the light orange and the yellow and there i've just combined it going down the side so you can see how they all all blend pretty well um so that that's quite a common one i use um Another one, I just wanted to show you some greens and these are just combining two at a time. So if you're doing a leaf and you just want to outline in a darker one and then color on the inside with a lighter one. So that's the these are the tri plus colors. So that's the green earth and the olive green, um, which are really nice colors. And there's nothing like either of those two, particularly in the 0.88s. This one was a sea green and a pale green. It's quite bright, that even though it says, says pale green. When, once you combine that with the, a darker colour and use that on the inside, that will pop quite well. So that's a, a nice combination, ones I'll use. Here's one where we've got more of a variation if you need um, you know, more than just two. Again, all triplus because the triplus are definitely better for greens. So we've got the normal green followed by sap green. Um, into into the willow green and then finally that actually says lime green I'm not sure if that's picking up very well so that's that one here for the turquoise and these are the ones I use um, a lot this is the darker turquoise that I was talking about in the 0.88 and then that's the one that's also called turquoise so they're both called turquoise, but that's the turquoise in the Tri Plus. And you can see how much lighter it is, but they work really well together. And then you've got a light emerald, um, which is 0.88 as well. And then I've also, just as a, something I'll do a bit, because I'm just starting to look at the neons now, is added on a neon yellow at the end. So that's the combo with the turquoise going through. I often just use the two, to be honest. Um, but that one does go as well if you want to take it through more and then that's just the two with the neon at the end so that's just the two turquoises and then the neon at the end and I've just done some dots but that they can be quite good blue so the blue is you're looking at your your 0.88 so you've got this gorgeous deep nice blue which I really like um, then the light blue followed by azure and then an ice blue that says number 11 ice blue and as you can see as that uh, goes down it, it, it blends in really well and graduates down to the color really well so some nice blues there um this is a common brown one i use and this one you can use very carefully and with dots and a, a slightly lighter yellow just on, on little tiny bits to get like a gold effect it works really well um, it's the all tri plus and it's um, a light brown the golden ochre a light orange just really more to blend the golden ochre into the bright yellow you can leave out the light orange you don't necessarily need it you can sometimes go straight from the golden ochre to the yellow it depends on what you what you're trying to color um so that's a, a combination that i use for the the gold color i also sometimes substitute and use the stablo just plain yellow as well um 
here's a couple of two combos that I use quite a lot. This one is the light lilac um, in the 0.88. So it's like a sort of a light purple. And then that lavender I was talking about, which is a beautiful color in the Tri Plus. And they go together really, really well, flowers and things like that. Um, here's two more. These would be my two greys when I was talking about colouring in something silver. So as you can see in this one, the Tri Plus light grey is definitely more of a silver hue. And then if you if you outline um, and define using the medium grey from the 0.88, that those two go really well together. Um, what you can do as well, and I just did a couple to illustrate, is you can actually... Uh, some of them, when you combine two colours together, they create a third colour. Um, before I had, uh, when I first only had the Tri Plus, I used to use, um, so I didn't have that deep red that I was looking for that I found in the 0.88. I used to actually use the number two red Tri Plus and the 61 red violet, uh, which I always think of as more kind of pinky colour. But if you actually add those two together it does create this this deep I call I used to call it red velvet in the middle um so if you don't have the 50 packs and sometimes you you're looking for that different color just have a play around because if you mix them then you'll be surprised at what effect you can get and I used to use that one all the time so what I would do was if I wanted a dark red outline with it you know the lighter red I would actually outline in this pink and then go over it with the red pen and it would become that dark red, that red velvety red. And then you're doing the inside in the light red. So even though you've used that purple, you can only really see the dark red and the, the red on its own. Um, another one um, you can do that for is the aqua blue in Tri Plus and the neon yellow. So you've got the aqua blue here, the neon yellow here. And when they're combined, you get this, this kind of beautiful neon green. Um, and again, they all go pretty well together if you, uh, if you, the, the, anything neon, well, I'm finding with the neon yellow, it really makes things stand out. So I'm quite excited to do some experimentations with the neon, but yeah, the neon over the top of any of the other pens is definitely going to have a big impact. Um, so it'd be fun to actually go through and have a look at what we can, can create. And if you do create some great things, please share them with me. Send, send me, um, if you're on Instagram, I'm at colorbright. Brett Bex on Instagram as well, obviously. Yeah, send me a direct message and show me. Show me what you're creating. Let's share. Um, last one I want to run through is just a very basic rainbow colour um, that, I, that I do. Very, very basic. And you, you can follow this with most sort of most packs of um, standard markers, not just fine liners. We'll have this colour range. Um, so it's a red, orange, yellow apple green in here so like a lighter green go into a turquoise if you've got one then a light blue and a dark blue it's a standard rainbow but using that when you blend it and you can put it on leaves and flowers and yeah it's, it's i use that kind of rainbow um, combination quite a lot um so i think that's actually it for fine liner color charts um for now anyway the, the we'll definitely revisit them at points and do different ones um i can do the 0.68 of the nibs um and maybe the twin tones um and stuff some of the others i don't have all of them so like the tombos and the pit pens i don't have all of them um so it's hard to swatch when you haven't got all of them i can swatch them for myself but i wouldn't particularly put them in, in a video anyway that's it for now so thank you for listening please join me in part five when i'm gonna it'll be quite short just doing a bit on embellishments um, and what we can do with fine liners after um, and then we can finally get on and start coloring a picture together which i'm really looking forward to all right thanks bye